Okay, so you can see here the um, door trim, um, which I've already taken off, and it um, is held on by these screws. Now the screws are kind of hard to see. They're actually, it's almost like they've put the screws on first and then covered them in the upholstery, well, on this boat anyway. Um, yours might be pretty obvious, but I had to dig around through the carpet or the, or the upholstery um, to locate the heads of the screws. So um, that's the that's the door trim. So the iPod doesn't have a iPod. The iPhone doesn't have a huge wide angle on it for the video, so you have to bear with with the um, narrow field. So with the door trim off, you've got. Um, You've got this uh, the edge of the, the upholstery exposed, um, and then obviously to get the door trim off, I had to take off the, the stainless steel stepping plate, which um, you know, goes on there. A couple of screws, and also the the door retainer. Um, that's just held on by a couple of screws as well. Um, so once that's off, um, I actually had to loosen off the top track of the door as well, um, which is up here. So some screws. Now the screws are actually inside the cockpit cowling, the, um, so the drive cowling, which houses all the gauge instruments and so forth. Um, so to get to the forward screws, I had to take all the screws off the instrument cluster, which is pretty easy, and lift that out gently. A lot of wires that keep it bound in, so just be gentle. And then um, um, to the to the forward of that cluster, uh, the, the door track runs up inside. Um, I had to purchase a special tool, which I'll I'll um, show you a little later, um, which gives you a 90 degree drilling capacity or screwing capacity. So I could actually just manage to get the drill up um, and locate the screw heads <laughs> with that uh, with that tool piece, that, that drill piece, um, with both hands. It's kind of tricky, but I managed. Um, so long as you make sure you don't um, st uh, strip out the tops of the screws. Um, so make sure you locate the, the heads uh, really well, the slots, and make sure that the drill piece, the attachment, is securely placed inside the, dr the screw heads before you start to try and um, ease them out. Now they're only going to fiberglass, so it's not like they're going to be, you know, s sitting there with a whole lot of torque behind it. Um, but still, be careful, be gentle. Uh, so once I've loosened that track up up there, um, it just loosening it gives you this um, a little bit extra gap here, a little bit more play, um, you know, for the door moving in and out and up and down, um, and that's really important because as you can see I've chocked the door gap as wide as it'll go um, that's looking forward behind um, forward at the the um, head and inside the um, instrument cowling you can also see that um, the um, you know the backing carpet or upholstery on the back of the door um, I pulled it away and folded it folded it up on itself because it tends to jam up as you're sliding the door in and out. So if you just keep it up out of the way, it, it um, helps a lot. And it also keeps it out of the way of the track. Because um, as, as we're lifting the track in and out, um, as I said before, there's very little clearance. Um, so with the door you know, chocked to its maximum forward position, or, or towards the stern, that is, um, it gives us very little room to, to move the track in and out. Um, the way to get that material folded back on itself, because it's kind of, it sticks to itself almost like it's a half of Velcro. <laughs> um, I just used a bit of the trim and slid that on inside and then, you know, slowly work the end up upon itself, pulling down on the trim at the same time. So with that, that nice and deep, You've then got the track. Um, so here's the track. Um, I actually purchased some new uh, new balls. This one's a bit, a little bit worn in places. 
where it's been, you know, running consistently on one one surface along the top edge of the um, the outer track or the bottom track. Um, so there's the that ball. Now this cost, um, I think it was about four dollars, but I had to get it imported from England. Um, anyway, so there's two balls inside there for those who need to see that. <laughs> is the um, obviously the tr track piece upon which the bottom foot of the door sits it sits in in this edge here um, and then upside down you can see the runners the ball runners in there um, and then you've got an act actual guide runners on the end of, of the track itself on each end and they just um, are held in with Phillips head screws um, so obviously if your ball is looking a little bit worn like that, if you've gone to the effort to pull the door out, <laughs> go to the effort to replace the balls because I don't think that one's going to last much longer. So having, having done that and replacing, sliding that back into the base track. So once you've got your uh, track set up like that, and as I mentioned before, I've chocked the door nice and wide. Um, and that's so that you can actually put the entire track in. It's quite a tight fit. Just watch this upper end. You don't want to gouge the fiberglass. You can tape off the end, but I'm just being really careful. Um, I pre-drilled um, my, my fresh holes, the bigger ones here, the larger diameters, um, to take four bolts. I'm not putting five in like the original screws because the bolts are more than twice the diameter of the screw, so it's more than adequate hold strength. And then, just very carefully, watching that top end again, not to scratch the fiberglass, you can ease this in. So again, with the track back on its spot, and its place um, with the screw, uh, which I'll put in, uh, that locks one end of the track down so that we can start drilling um, our holes. So the screw is in. Um, the, um, the door's runner. And uh, obviously move back and forth. Um, so now we can drop the door onto the runner. The door on the track... Um, you can see uh, down in there, you can just see the glint of the hole that I pre-drilled um, that's going to take the bolt. Now this is the tricky bit. I'm not the best handyman on the planet. Um, you, out, you guys out there might have a better way to do this, but following the, the, the instructions of the other guy on the, um, the forum, um, you know, I've, I've drilled a hole. Um, he recommended a three-quarter inch minimum. I'm trying to keep the hole to a minimum, so I've gone with a half inch. Um, I don't know if you can see it in there, but it, I've got the, the pre-drilled hole on the track perfectly lined up through the center of this hole. So now um, it's just a case of I'm going to go out and chock the, the outer edge of the bottom of the door so it doesn't move. Um, before or aft with the pressure of the drill and then it's a case of just um, drilling the holes uh, on the correct angle which is a little bit sort of as far as I can determine it's sort of a five degree tilt up towards the rear of the boat um, just because of the the profile of the base of the door it's flanged a little bit um, or beveled sorry a little bit and uh, so it'll accommodate that that bevel it needs a little bit of an angle on the drill as one goes up into the, the bottom of the, of the door. This shows you the tool attachment that gives you a kind of a 90 degree angle to reach awkward places. Um, so if you do need to remove the inner track or the upper track, here it is there.
to track there and um, there's three screws recessed in that track so it's a lot of feeling with your fingers angling the drill and um, hoping for the best and here's the uh, end product the um, outboard side of the door the, um, the screws sticking out the base just above the track uh, but you can see uh, by the profile of the screw um, how critical it was to angle the drill bit because uh, if, if I didn't give it that five you know, plus degree uh, upward angle when I was drilling from the other side um, the holes would have come out you know there would have been very little meat for the bolts to hold on to um, yeah so that's it four bolts and it works there's a um, side view for you show you the, the bolt heads disappearing down the, the door well um, and again you can see the you know the bottom edge of the washer is actually clear of the door so without that angle um, you know coming up through the door um, the, the bolt head would have been quite much would have been much lower and um, and wouldn't have held wouldn't have given any strength to um, the track runner finished